Hi, I'm Dr. Marsha Moore, um, and I'm speaking on behalf of our Daily Vision blog. I, one of the questions we got, or one of the questions I often get because my patients see that I write with my left hand is, are there different visual concerns for a lefty versus a righty? Um, and the answer to that is yes. Because um, a lot of the parents, I think the reason they're asking me is the statistics would be that both parents would be right-handed and the, and the child's left-handed. Um, so one of the things is, I think that's really, really key in development is that a child pick a hand dominant. So usually you can tell on a child by about two years old, but by three or four, those ages where they really start to grip, um, you should probably know the hand dominance by then. And I definitely wouldn't force it or push it. Um, but if you see that they're favoring their left hand uh, more than their right, um, I, would, I would go with that. So one of the biggest things, I know for me growing up left-handed is it has actually a lot of strengths to it because you kind of grow up in a right-handed world. Most people that are left-handed can do things with the right hand um, and that's encouraged. So if your kid is kicks with the right foot or does a cartwheel right-handed versus left-handed, that's actually very strong in development to, to be able to attack things from a couple different angles and with brain stimulation and that sort of thing. But for the most part, when you're sitting down and actually wanting to write, um, is some key things to look for is that most left-handed kids visually, their body needs to be a little bit more at a slant. So it's actually very natural and normal to have a little bit of tilt of the paper. Um, so I definitely allow your child um, you know, to do that. And keep in mind, I think, what some people don't think about when you're when you're a right-handed person is when you're a lefty, you're writing over what you see. So, especially if the kid's younger, one thing you can help them out, especially since more parents are teachers these days, is you know if they're struggling to copy at those really young ages, like kindergarten and first grade, is you can write the stuff on the right side of the page so they can view that a little bit easier to copy. Now, as a left-handed person, you learn how to do that pretty quick, um, but for the young ones, that can be very helpful. Another very, very important thing is um, keep in mind when you have like three ring binders, that that binder can area can get in your way. So um, growing up, most teachers didn't allow, you know, the books to be turned um, or a notebook to be turned um, to the other side, but loose leaf would be would be great to work with um, so you don't have that hand touching that, um, that side. And what's um, real important is that the hand is comfortable um, and um, another thing is sometimes handwriting is a little bit slower to develop in a left-handed person than a right-handed person and that's all um, you know totally normal I would definitely um, get them certain left-handed scissors um, and teach them how to brace and balance with with both hands um, but I guess the take-home is it's a it's a blessing um, because most people that are left-handed use um, both sides of their brain more so um, it's just that early on, giving them a few more tools to make them successful is very helpful. So thank you.